Beaumaris Castle marks the final chapter in the story of Edward I's invasion of Wales and is testament to his ruthless ambition. The castle is situated in the southeast corner of the Isle of Anglesey, long cherished by the Welsh as their breadbasket, its land sustaining the nation. Close to where Beaumaris now stands was the town of Clanface, founded in the early 13th century by Llewellyn the Great. By the time Edward's invasion reached Anglesey in 1295, the town was a busy trading port and Llewellyn had his palace there, along with a Franciscan friary. The town was too close to where Edward wanted to build Beaumaris, and so as soon as his troops arrived, they started to demolish Langface. By the time of Edward's death in 1307, only a windmill, a parish church and the friary were still standing. Most of the buildings were moved to the new town of Beaumaris, however most of the residents of Clanface were forcibly resettled in another new town at Newborough, 13 miles away. The town of Beaumaris received its first royal charter in 1296, and by 1305 contained 132 properties. It remains the most important town on Anglesey for most of its history. The castle itself was the last of Edward's strongholds to be built in Wales, and thanks to the expanse of land on the Bow Marys, or Beautiful Marsh, his architect James of St George took full advantage of a blank canvas to build arguably the finest of all the castles. The castle's footprint was huge and laid out with near perfect symmetry. There were four concentric rings of formidable defences, including a water-filled moat and its very own dock. Edward's invasion of Scotland soon diverted funding from the project, however, and work ground to a halt by the 1320s. A total of £15,000 had been spent, a huge sum of money for the period, but the castle remained incomplete. The South Gatehouse and the six great towers of the Inner Ward never reached their intended height. Despite this, the castle still saw its share of history. It was taken by Welsh forces in 1403, during the rebellion of Owain Glandower, but recaptured by royal forces in 1405. Following the outbreak of the English Civil War in 1642, the castle was held by forces loyal to Charles I, holding out until 1646 when it surrendered to the parliamentary armies. Despite forming part of a local royalist rebellion in 1648, the castle escaped demolition and was garrisoned by Parliament, but fell into ruin by 1660. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I look forward to catching you on the next one. Bye for now.